Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with Vacaville Baseball Barn. And before I get started, subscribe to our channel, tell a friend, go to our Facebook page, like us. And today what I want to talk about is a series of three on the three core movements. They're basically the hips before the hands, the plane of the bat on the plane of the pitch, and then staying inside the ball. And let's focus right now on on our hips before our hands, and our philosophy is really based on a lot of what Ted Williams talks about. And he was one of the first guys that really brought into this whole science of hitting, or at least breaking down the swing, and, and knowing that they emulated the swing after guys before him, Babe Ruth, Joe Jackson, uh, you name them. And what he learned and what he projected out was the hips start before the hands do. If you get ahead of yourself to where you get in your swing and the hands go first, you've lost all the power. You, you're not able to create torque, and torque is where we create bat speed and power. So what do I mean by that if I say, hey, the hips before the hands. If I get myself ready, and again, we always talk about with our players, get comfortable. The stance is not up to us. It's the comfort level of the player. Once they're comfortable, when they get into their stride, if they take a short stride, if they take no stride, if they take a Troy Tulowitzki type thing where they take a really big stride to get that weight shift for the smaller guys, we want to see that their hips start turning towards or rotating, if you want to use that word, towards the pitcher, but our shoulders and upper body and our torso is staying back as long as possible. It's described as the, the larger muscles of the hips and legs start turning as much as possible until they eventually start turning the shoulders and then yank the small muscles through, being the arms, wrists, hands out to the back. So again, what do we do here? We want to start, whether we start with a stride or without a stride, we want to start our hips first, trying to keep our shoulders back as much as possible. And this may show it a little bit better. As I get here and my hips turn, notice my upper body, my shoulders are still somewhere towards the opposite batter spots. My hands would be, at this point, at the launch position, would be somewhere around my, my shoulders. My bat's going to be coming down around my shoulder. And as my hips continue to turn, eventually, it's just going to yank the smaller muscles through. And then I finish out and make contact with the ball. If you have any other questions, visit us at vvbaseballborn.com. Check out our Facebook page. And please don't forget, subscribe to our channel.